This is a team that should have loads of confidence on both sides of the ball after that win versus DC United last weekend. For Chicago Fire and interim manager Frank Lopatz also making two changes. Jordan Shakiri back from suspension. Georgios Kutsias comes into that forward line in for Kai Kamara. In their third kits tonight, Chicago in the white as we're underway. New York Red Bulls playing host to Chicago Fire. Flicked out to Shakiri. We'll serve it towards the back stick. Amsberg tracking in. Coronel has to come off his line to catch that one. And now wants to get the break going quickly with Luquinhas turning inside of Dumbia, who catches the Brazilian and earns himself a yellow card. Fernandes in towards Tom Barlow. It's over his head. Tolkien arriving. It was a strong header just going wide of target. Little bit of space to be able to roam in. And then look at that ball. And there's a late run in for Tolkien, and that doesn't miss by much. But it's a combination play out wide on that far side that opens up a little gap internally for the time and space for that ball to be delivered to the far post. MLS's highest paid players is brought in on a $7.5 million transfer from Lyon. Doesn't quite hit the heights required. Jimenez, step beyond one. It's Dumbia under some pressure. Luquinhas is going to win it off him and emerge with it. Luquinhas for Elias Manuel. Save from Chris Brady. It will be a corner. And just waves and waves of attack from the Red Bull, starting from the defensive pressure. Too easy again. A giveaway from Dumbia right outside. Now Fernandez with another. Trying to get beyond Navarro. Frankie Amaya just right first time. Just popped it high and wide there. Maya service, heart of the area. And Dom going for it. Comes out to Duncan. A whip across back in. Barlow's header! Oh, and a save from Brady! He's made a couple in the last few minutes. Coming up with massive saves throughout the season. Well, once again, he does just that. That is a huge save because this Red Bulls team has been peppering the fire's goal all evening long. That's a great ball put back into the far post and then they have runners and, and look at that reaction save from Brady. The only player that Red pulls with a, a really good first half, just not finding the back of the net, something they'll, they'll be disappointed with. Tolkien's long throw, good cut for Lukinyas. It's cleared off the line. Amsberg took a step back and he needed to be there. Denying Lukinyas the opening goal just before the halftime whistle. Red Bulls nil, Chicago nil. Well, this feels like it sums up the first half, putting themselves in fantastic. And not far away from the kickoff of the second at 45 minutes. We are underway. Chicago with a blank slate to try and get a goal in this one. Dean, oh, and Dobbin flying through him. And this is going to be dangerous, and Dom's going to go here. Hassan and Dom already on a booking. It's a second yellow card, and the lifeline Chicago needed. Hassan and Dom sent off for Chicago to take advantage immediately. Shakiri's ball in. And I'm going for free header for Kutsiats. Insult to injury for the Red Bulls. They go down to 10, and they go 1-0 down. On the first shot of the game for Chicago Fire, 63 minutes in, Red Bulls nil, Chicago won. For the Red Bulls, especially when you don't have much in the run of play, and what a delivery that is. Gutierrez stays out of it initially, just gets a little bit of separation. Poor defending from the Red Bulls, completely loses mark. It's Duncan that allows him to go, and then Kutias, all he has to do is redirect that on frame, does just that, puts Chicago Fire up away from home, 1-0. And in a lot of ways, Chris, you felt like that one was coming, because not much. Amaya, it was loose. It's won back by Gutierrez, and played into space for Haley Selassie. This could be the chance for the second. Haley Selassie, low cross for Shakiri, who misses. A golden chance to put this one to bed, and Shakiri couldn't aim it on target. That has to find the back of the net. Give yourself a bit of separation late in this game, but it's the ball initially from Gutierrez that breaks. 
Chicago Fire to be able to get out on that break and then a huge miss. Just wide of the goal, right in front. And another chance on here. Shabilko is in. Shabilko off the outside of the post. These are unreal opportunities that Chicago are wasting. How is this game still 1-0? <laughs> well, Haley Selassie has been at the heart of both of those and a right idea. Harper to get there ahead of Haley Selassie. Amaya. Deflection from Shabilko. Chested down from Nealis for Amaya to have a strike. It's off the woodwork. Well, here's the initial chance moments ago from Amaya through traffic. And my goodness, gets a hold of that one. It's dipping, it's spinning. Red Bull's pressing for more into Amaya. Turning away from pressure, he gave it away. And now Chicago can go. Shabilko's in behind. He's got Gutierrez running with him, who's free in the middle. He slides it to Gutierrez to finish this one off. Save from Coronel. Chicago, for a third time, unable to put this one to bed. Just unfortunate, unlucky for Amaya to not equalize this game. And then that would lead to this opportunity. And really, it's just been summing up this game back and forth. Neither team can... Burke wants it long. Instead, it's given to Kyle Duncan. Cutting inside. Lofted into towards the area. Burke to wait for it in control. He gets to it. Corey Burke! Couldn't steer it on target. Red Bulls throughout the first half. Few opportunities late in this, this game. And then Chicago, three golden opportunities. There's full time. Wow. We thought surely there'd be a little bit more added. But Chicago have come into New York.